episode of The Rose Table. I am in beautiful St. George, Utah on a girls trip with my friend Morgan to explore Greater Zion. We are staying at the Inn at Entrada, which is Southern Utah's premier luxury resort. It is so stunning. The aesthetics is based on the Anasazi people, which are the ancient people who lived here thousands and thousands of years ago. But personally, I'm getting major bedrock vibes. I feel like this is where Fred would take Wilma for their anniversary. Anyway, I digress. The Inn at Entrada has so much to offer, including a championship golf course, fitness center, and spa, and so much more. Let's go check out our adorable casita right on the golf course. I can't wait to show you. We're casita 2302, and check out our adorable little patio. Is this not the sweetest? We can sit out here and have our morning coffee. It's so peaceful, and I'm so excited to see our room. We have a one-bedroom casita. Let's go see it. because it was once the set of a movie. Wow. Oh, we have a patio table. Can you just see it relaxing in the morning, having your coffee with a little fountain? Oh. How stunning. Okay, let's go see the room. I can stay here for a week. The fireplace. How romantic. Oh, this is a king bed. Looks so comfortable. The sheets are so soft. Are you kidding? <laughs> the size of this tub. <laughs> wow. I mean, you could fit four of me in that tub. Huge shower. I love this where there's an extra room, I guess, like an actual closet for the, the water closet, as they say. I think that's so nice when you're sharing. And two sinks, which I love. Ray, say hi, Morgan. Hi. Hi. I can't wait to get unpacked and moved in, and then we're going to go to dinner at Zaytava. First up on our trip to St. George, we worked up quite the appetite traveling, so we're gonna have dinner at the Tava Gardens Cafe, which is located at the Cayenta Art Village, which is so fun to stroll around. It's this beautiful desert garden and super fun. There's little shops, so you can come early and do a little bit of shopping and then head into Zaytava for dinner. This is the creamiest goat cheese I have ever had, and my mother would die for these beets. Oh. Oh, it's so good. And this lemonade is a must. I'm not even a big lemonade person, but I had a feeling this was gonna be good. And it's amazing. It's like a minty lemonade. It's so refreshing after a long hot day. It's so flavorful, super lemony. And that is a really good dish. Oh my gosh. Mm. And this is my green curry mahi. The next morning we picked up cinnamon rolls in the lobby and enjoyed breakfast on our beautiful patio. What a view. This morning we are at the Red Hills Desert Garden. It's a beautiful botanical garden that's so natural. There's lots of cacti and herbs and rock features and dinosaur tracks. And I'm so excited to see them, so let's go. You guys, I am nerding out right now because when I was a little girl, I actually wanted to be a paleontologist and I am sitting on actual dinosaur tracks left in the early Jurassic period by a massive predator, the Dilophosaurus. And this is just so crazy. I feel like a kid in a playground right now. You'll want at least 45 minutes to explore, but you could easily spend an hour and a half wandering around. Now, don't forget the staircase near the entrance. That was actually our favorite part. It's a replica canyon with waterfall, and it's so beautiful. Going! Wow. 
everywhere you turn, it's just a new beautiful scenery and there's dinosaur tracks. Like we didn't even expect that coming here today. I think my favorite part though was like looking at all of the names of the plants. We have like a chocolate plant, which I'm very interested in, a maple prickly pear, a jumping chala. It's just so <laughs> funny and I feel like I'm learning. It's been such a great morning. We've had the best time at the Red Hills Desert Garden, but check out these gorgeous red vermilion cliffs behind me. We are gonna go play in Pioneer Park next. Welcome to Pioneer Park. We are right next door to the Red Hills Desert Park. Now, of course, Greater Zion has tons of amazing hiking, including Zion National Park, which is supposed to be stunning. Snow Canyon, which is much more intense hiking than what we're going to do right now. It's 105, so we just thought, let's hang out at Pioneer Park. We've got some beautiful cliffs, and I want to go check them out. Let's go see the view. Pioneer Park is free and there's so much to do. You can go rock climbing, hiking. We found a Boy Scout cave that was so fun to explore. There's beautiful views. There's even a fire pit if you want to chill and stay a while. You need a stuffed Simba right now. a great morning exploring St. George and all of the outdoor activities and we worked up quite an appetite so we're gonna go pick up some lunch and then hit the pool back at the Inn and Entrada. We got some poke at Hawaiian Poke Bowl for lunch and then we swung by Nielsen's Frozen Custard for a sweet treat we thought we earned after hiking. I think I wore Morgan out you guys. What a fabulous morning in St. George. This has just been so beautiful, so fun. Now it's the heat of the day, so we're gonna go enjoy In and Entrada's famous pool where they filmed High School Musical 2. We spent a couple of hours splashing around, swimming and hanging out in the pool before heading back to our room, getting cleaned up for the evening and picking up some Rigatti's wood-fired pizza that we enjoyed in our casita. Great quick dinner before Tuacon. We've gotten all cleaned up to go off to Tuacon Amphitheater. They have Disney shows all summer long. You guys know I am the biz biggest Disney fanatic. I could not be more excited about this. Tonight we're gonna see Disney's The Little Mermaid. Tomorrow we've got Disney's When You Wish, but first we've got a special backstage tour and I'm gonna take you with me. Tuacon is just a couple minutes from the Inadentrada at Snow Canyon State Park. Hey guys, we are doing a special backstage tour at the Tuacon Amphitheater. I'm on the stage right now for Disney's The Little Mermaid. How cool is this? We're gonna show you around. We got to do so much during our VIP tour. We got to go on stage, under stage, backstage. We got to see the set pieces and all the magical things they can do. <gasps> oh. We get the designs and we build everything from scratch. We have to reinforce them with steel and build them to last six months of the elements. We have about 2,000 seats in this amphitheater. Okay. And one of the cool things, this amphitheater has actually been here for millions of years. Mm -hmm. um, I had the opportunity to come here before this was all built. And the contours, the topography, it was just a natural setting. And they only excavated about 12 inches of dirt for this amphitheater. They literally, quite literally came in, poured the cement, the that chairs so are cool. It's got almost 18,000 seats of backstories, so they'll come oh specifically gosh. to see all three shows. It's gonna be me now. Yeah. <laughs> now we're in the know. We even got to visit the scene shop where they build the sets and the set pieces and the costume shop. Maria Lynn made this for Princess, Prince of Egypt. <laughs> Modeling it. And Orange. these, this is made out of pasta noodles. That is so creative. Well, this has been so much fun. Thank you so much for the tour. You're so welcome. So glad you came. I can see that the gate's just about to open. The show's gonna start, so you better find your seats. So exciting. Before we find our seats, though, I have one more surprise for you guys. My favorite Disney vloggers, Chris and Amanda from Provost Park Fest, are going to meet us here right now. So let's go find them. Thank you again. You're welcome. excited for when you wish because I like the whole collaboration of all the different things because then you get it all I feel like you get everything but Little Mermaid come on I know it's classic and we've oh, got our toddler heart. here so oh. <laughs> so exciting well should we go in let's, let's do, do it, it. Yeah. Okay. 
my readers and viewers know how into theater I am. I'm a lifelong lover of the arts and the special effects that is happening in the middle of this desert canyon right now is just off the hook. This is, hey, that's kind of a little my <laughs> joke. What? Ah, I'll scene. be here all night. <laughs> I feel like all I ever talk about on the Rose Table is how magical everything is, but Tuacon's production of The Little Mermaid absolutely takes the cake. It's intermission and I'm freaking out. I leaned over to, to Katie Rose and I was just crying during Under the Sea because this is such a beautiful, thrilling production. Like, I am absolutely enthralled. So amazing. I can't wait for Act 2. <laughs> we have no words. We're like Ariel in all of the second act. We have no words. <laughs> I don't know what to say. It was the most gorgeous thing I've ever seen. It was magical. There were fireworks. There was on dry eye in the house. There were pyrotechnics. Pyrotechnics. All over. Guys, it is truly Broadway in the desert. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. We're going to see one tomorrow. We're going to see one tomorrow. We're going to call it a night. We're going to hang out at the pool and in an entrada all day tomorrow. And then we're back here at Tuacon. Back. Yesterday could not have been more fun at Tuacon, and now we're going to spend the day enjoying the beautiful pool at the Inn of which might look familiar to Disney fans. This is actually where they filmed High School Musical 2. How fun. There's a hot tub, a huge pool behind me, a gorgeous waterfall, and even a very large kitty pool. So there's really something here for everybody, and we're even going to have lunch because they have poolside service. We really had a jam-packed Monday, so we were so happy to spend the bulk of Tuesday hanging out in the pool, enjoying the waterfall and the hot tub. The food was so good. We had wraps and fries and smoothies poolside. So fun. How do you like the pool? I love it so much. It's just such a great way to spend the day. We then headed back to our casita to get ready for our glamorous night out on the town. What a relaxing day at the pool at the Inn at Entrada. Now tonight we're heading back over to Tuacon for Disney's When You Wish, but first we're having dinner at the Cliffside Restaurant with sweeping views of St. George. Can you even imagine a prettier patio to have dinner right now? This is a family-owned restaurant with impeccable service and great wine. We really went all out for dinner and didn't have one bite that we didn't love. We had gazpacho, a watermelon feta salad with pomegranate seeds. I had the almond crusted trout with cranberry sauce and Morgan had the best pasta I've ever had. And well here, let me let her tell you about it. My pasta is incredible. You take one bite and it's stuffed with pear, which makes it so sweet. And the cream sauce is so savory. So they pair together. They pair together. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget about dessert. We got the Lilikoi cheesecake, which is a passion fruit cheesecake with raspberry coulis, and the molten chocolate cake, which tastes exactly like hot chocolate to me. The passion fruit is incredible. This is one of the best little cheesecakes I have ever had the pleasure of eating. I will dream about this when I'm back home. It is time for Disney's When You Wish at Tuacon Amphitheater. I could not be more excited. Everyone keeps telling us that the show is so incredible. And Tuacon actually wrote Disney's When You Wish. How fun is that? They had the world premiere here three years ago. Now we get to go see it. I have no idea what to expect because I've never seen When You Wish before. So I really have no idea. I don't even know what what Disney movies are in it. And it's so cool that we're getting the chance to see it right here where it was wrote. Yes, <laughs> they, wrote, the they wrote it here. Ah. I know, it's so cool. So I'm so cool. excited. Okay, should we go yeah, get our seats? We should. Okay. Here's a little bit about When You Wish that we learned on our VIP tour with Joseph. We did Disney's When You Wish about three years ago, and it's a brand new show that Disney allowed us to collaborate on, co-write. And our artistic director, Scott Anderson, worked with Disney, and we wrote it and produced it right here. And it was the world premiere of When You Wish here about three years ago. And then Disney took that and used it for a lot of their cruise line and I think some of their parks entertainment. So what you see here tonight is kind of a Disney Toolcon original. This is some of the best theater production I have ever seen. I mean, we have horses cantering loose on stage. We have fireworks. The genie number was absolutely mind-blowing. The projections is absolutely stunning. I am just blown away by Tuacon Amphitheater. You've got to come check it out if you're a theater lover and especially if you're a Disney person. We were just sobbing tears of joy during this entire production. Please come out to St. George, Utah. This is some incredible stuff happening here in the canyon. It's our last day here in St. George, Utah and I am so sad to be leaving. I could easily stay here for another week. We enjoyed the morning at the spot. The 
Entrada, and now we're about to have lunch overlooking the championship golf course. The food here is so amazing, but I especially have to highlight the hummus with pesto and herbed pita bread. Delicious. Yum. Ooh. I'm dressing. Oh, the food here is so fresh and so flavorful. And don't forget about dessert because the butterscotch poto creme is unbelievable. It's saucy, it's even a little bit smoky, and it's so delicious. We didn't even want to share. Well, that's it for me here in St. George, Utah. I hope you guys had as much fun enjoying the Greater Zion area and beautiful Inn Entrada as much as I did. For more information on all these great places, check out theroadstable.com. <laughs>